Hi there, I'm Kinsanya Mnisi. I create content on faith, wellness and personal development. If these are topics that you find genuine interest in, be sure to hit the little subscribe button down in this video so you can also be part of the awesome Kinsi Squad. I am super excited. I probably start most of my videos like this but believe when I say I'm excited because this video is more of like a reminder to you but also a reminder to me how God really sees us. We live in a world that is saturated by digital technology, by social media and all that and it's so easy to lose ourselves in that and it's so easy to forget how God sees you and I always say how other people see you is actually none of your business. The main important thing is how God sees you and it's very important to remind yourself of your identity in Christ. How does God see you? What does he say about you? And that is how I want you to start seeing yourself. Don't see yourself according to the standards that society sets. Don't see yourself according to the standards that social media set, but see yourself, how your father, which is God, how he sees you. That is how you must view yourself and that is how you must see yourself. And that is what we're doing today. Today I'm basically just going to be giving you an insight on how God really sees you and how your father sees you. What is your identity in Christ? And whenever you start feeling like you're not confident enough, you may start feeling like you're doubting yourself, I want you to remind yourself of these truths. These are things that I wrote down on my journal because I constantly remind myself of this, how my father sees me, how God sees me, because once you know how God sees you, it shapes how you do life and it, it, it basically, it shapes what you stand for. I always say, if you don't stand for anything, you fall for everything. So it's important to know yourself and be bold enough to live that out courageously. So, and do not be shaken by what, by what other people say about you you do not be shaken by perceptions of the world and all of those things but know your identity in Christ be rooted in that and live that out boldly so I am Kinsani Nisi on YouTube Instagram and TikTok I'd like to give you a very warm welcome to my YouTube channel remember to be subscribed and hit that notification bell the word of God is the truth and there is no truth outside of the word of God. So let us read a scripture that is going to assist us a great deal in finding our identity in Christ. Today we are reading in the book of 1 Peter 2. I really really love this scripture because it really summarizes our identity in Christ and we're going to get into why is it important to really know our identity in Christ, what it does for us. We're also going to get into the subject of how our actions are actually influenced by what we believe our identity to be. So let us first go to the Word of God. We're reading in the book of 1 Peter 2 verse 9. It says, But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a consecrated nation, a special people for God's own possession, so that you may proclaim the excellencies, the wonderful deeds and virtues and perfections of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Listen, this scripture is reminding me of the scripture that says, when you come in Christ, you are made a new creation, the old has passed, and behold, you become a new person, because it says, the last part of the scripture says, um, you are called out of darkness, and you, you get into the marvelous light. And to each and every single person, I want you to remember that the moment that you accept God, the moment that you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, you move from darkness, you step into light. So it's very wrong to accept Him and stay in darkness. It's very wrong to accept Him and still live according to how the world defines you. It's extremely wrong to accept Him and still get your identity from other things of the world. Listen, your identity and your worth is not even linked to your bank account. It's not even linked to your lifestyle. It's not even linked to how people see you, how people define you. It is linked to your it is linked to your Creator, which is Christ Jesus. That is where your identity comes from from and the reminder today is stop finding your identity in people stop finding your identity in places but find your identity in Christ it is, it's a different kind of thing to be told that hey behold you're made a new creation when you come into Christ and it's a different kind of thing to actually walk into that light it's a different kind of thing to walk as a new creation and live as a new creation your old has passed away and today I want you to grieve the old version of yourself because it's gone 
okay let us get into our identity in christ the scripture starts by stating a very important thing which is kind of like the basis of our identity in christ and it says we are a chosen race listen you are chosen god chose you and then in jeremiah will say he knew you he knew you before you were you were formed he knew you in your mother's womb okay and that means god knew you he knew everything about you he knew your weaknesses he knew your strengths he knew your 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 he knew your downfalls, he knew your life journey, but still he chose you. He knew how you would struggle with something, but still he chose you. He knew how you'd be at the point that you are in in life, but he still chose you. So the first thing in our identity in Christ is that we are chosen. And can we start walking like we are chosen? Can we start talking like we are chosen? Can we start living like we are chosen? Can we start acting as a chosen race? And then continues to say, you are a royal priesthood. And then it says, you've been consecrated. I love the word because that means set apart. You are set apart. And this is why as children of God, we're not even meant to fit in. So whenever you get to spaces, whenever you get to friendships, don't wonder or, or don't really beat yourself up and ask yourself, but why don't I fit in? You are not meant to fit in. You're a child of God. You are set apart. You are consecrated. You are set apart. You are different. And live that out. Let's not fight to fit in, but let us fight to represent Christ. It's not about being accepted. It's about being accepted into the kingdom, not about being accepted with the standards of this world, right? So the mindset change is also very, very important. Now let us get into why it's important to know our identity in Christ. There are various reasons why it's very important to know our identity in Christ, but my favorite reason of all is that if you know your identity in Christ, you have the ability to know that no one else is like you, and because of that, you are able to understand that it's your own path, it's your own journey. God loves us all, God has no favorites, and therefore, you are able to stick to your own path, and this therefore ends up reducing comparison. If you know your identity, it's so much more easier to live out your purpose. And oftentimes I hear people say, I don't know what my purpose is in life. How do I find my purpose? And I always say, what is your identity? What do you believe about yourself? What do you see yourself? Where is your identity rooted in? Because that ultimately influences your actions. Your actions influences your purpose. So if you don't know your identity, you can't discover your purpose. So to discover your purpose, know your identity. And another reason why it's very, very important to know your identity is that your identity influences your actions and your actions becomes habits and habits become your lifestyle. You got that? Did you get that? Or must I repeat? Let me repeat it. I said the important thing about knowing your identity is that your identity yields actions. Actions becomes habits. And with habits, those habits form your lifestyle. It's all rooted where? In your identity. Oftentimes we don't like our lifestyle and we want to change only the habits. We go and look up five habits to do whatever, but it's not really the habits there's there's deeper to it and that is your identity i always say if you want change if you want transformation deal with the root cause of things and not just what you can see on the surface level so if you want to change your lifestyle deal with your identity which voices in your life are pouring into you be very very selective as a child of god you are chosen be selective of who you allow to pour into your cup be selective of be selective of the voices that you listen to of the people that you are influenced by be very very, very selective because that ultimately defines what you believe about yourself there are so many factors that influence what you believe about yourself sometimes you believe things about yourself because of a trauma experience that you went through or because of your childhood experience whatever it is sometimes you believe the negative things that people have told you but none of that matters because your identity is found in Christ which is what I'm going to tell you now that is your identity and this is a reminder to you but it's also a reminder to me Remind yourself of your identity and whenever you feel like you are doubting, whenever you feel like you are losing yourself, whenever you feel like you are getting drawn to those negative views of you or those negative words that have been spoken over you over your life, I want you to remind yourself of this truth because the word of God is truth. And I said this once in my video and I said, there is nothing as my truth as this, your truth is this. The only truth for us as children of God is the word of God because hey that's the truth okay and this is why a scripture will tell us that the word of god is active it is sharper than into any it says the word of god is active it is sharper than any two double-edged sword listen 
tell me how powerful the word of God is, right? And what I love the most is that sometimes you read the word of God and it reminds you of who you really are. So it's not, I'm just not here to tell you, know your worth. Mm -mm. I'm here to say, know your identity, know your worth in Christ. There is no way to say, I no, 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 know your worth in Christ. I was having a conversation which will be on the channel um, soon. And I was having this conversation and one of the questions I asked was how do we navigate knowing your worth okay and we're basically talking about and the person responded and said as a child of god and said as a child of god our worth is found in christ so there is no no my worth no my worth because that easily easily yields to pride you know and that's not what we want so let us get into really what is your identity in christ i'm going to read this to you these are things that i've written in my journal i read them quite often so i'm sharing this so that it can help you as well in your journey i'm sharing this because of my channel i share mainly experiences that i go through but sometimes it's really conversations that i want to have to help you in your journey with christ in your personal development journey and your wellness journey and this is the whole point of this it's for us to grow it's for us to grow in Christ it's for us to grow into being godly women but more than anything it's to ensure that our evolution journey is filled with so much wisdom okay this is how God sees you you are blessed you are blessed beyond measure you are appreciated by your father you never for once should you ever feel like you're not valuable because you are appreciated you are heard by God because every single time you render a prayer to him, he hears you. Listen, I, I, sometimes I know it feels like you're not heard, but in God, you are heard. God hears you. Every single thing that you say to him, he hears you. Every single word that you, you say to him, he listens, he hears you. But not only does he just listen, he actually acts on it. And the thing is that his ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So how you are anticipating him to answer you is not the same way that he will really answer you but moral of the story is you are heard and with being heard you are also seen God sees you he sees the deepest parts of you he sees the parts of you that no one else sees he sees the parts of you that you hide from the world he sees the parts of you that you don't want to show on social media he sees you he sees you in your lowest he sees you in your highest moments in the moments of confusion in the moments of clarity God sees you you as a child of God are seen never for once do I ever want to hear you say I don't feel heard I don't feel seen as a child of God you already have that in Christ he hears you he sees you he blesses you he appreciates you he loves you you are gifted believe it or not you know down on the inside of you that there's a gift that God has implanted in you and the time for you to downplay yourself and the time for you to be fearful of using that gift because you're afraid what other people will say what other people will think that time is up because your identity in Christ is you are gifted and don't downplay yourself because you use those gifts remember that story of the people that were blessed with talents and the one did not use it but the other ones multiplied it you have a gift down on the inside of you stop hiding it reveal that gift to the world God planted that gift within you for a reason he planted that talent within you for a reason and stop thinking what will they say and sometimes you are the person that is meant to do something that has never been seen before it all starts with you God planted something very special in you and I want you to step boldly out with that stop downplaying yourself you are gifted that's a fact you are forgiven. I love this because we know the story of how Jesus died on the cross for me and you. And because of that, we are free. We are free from condemnation. We are free from any, we are free from it all. We are forgiven as children of God. So whenever you fall, whenever you make a mistake, instead of drawing away from him, I want you to instead draw very closer to him because you are forgiven. And that means that God always has your best interests at heart. He sent his one and only son Son to die for you okay I don't know I don't know a better example of love than that you are forgiven your identity in Christ is that you are loved you are loved beyond measure I talked about how Christ died for me and you that is a definition of love there is no one that will ever ever show you a definition of love that is as great as what Jesus did on the cross you are loved beyond measure. You are victorious. You are a child of God. 
you are made new in Christ. I talked about how in Christ the old has passed away. You are living as a new person. You are made new in Christ. You are an image of God. Listen, in the beginning God created man. God created heaven and earth, but then he says that he created us in his image. That shows how beautiful you are. Because think of God, think of how big he is, think of how holy he is, think of how gracious and merciful he is. Think of all that and imagine being created in the image of someone like that. You are created in the image of God. Please start walking like it. Please start looking at yourself like it. Please start talking like it because you are created in the image of God. Not in the image of men, not in the image of the world, not in the image of social media. You are created in the image of God and therefore there is no other person that can define you but God. Okay, and the next time you want to find your identity in people and places, I want you to ask yourself, what role do you have to define me if you're not even my creator? Okay, because the only person that can define you is God. All right, you are created in his image. You are anointed. You are chosen. You are God's special position. God treats you as ish. You know, let me explain this. Let me explain this. God treats you as an egg. You know how subtle an egg is, and you know how you treat it with so much. You're an egg. You are you we can oh you are God's special position. So start acting like it. You're holy through Christ Jesus. You walk in a wonderful light. You are bought at a high price. Listen, you are bought at a high price. A whole entire sacrifice was made so that you and me could be bought. You are bought at a high price. Price. You were handpicked by God who created the universe. Imagine the creator of the universe handpicking you and saying, The world deserves someone like you. Think of that. Okay, start seeing yourself as that. You are handpicked by God. You are handpicked by the creator of the universe. You are treasured. You are irreplaceable. I don't care what the world says, I don't care what the world defines it and says, um, oh yeah, you could be irreplaceable, but in God's eyes, you are irreplaceable because there's something special about you that he has planted in you, that he hasn't planted in the same way that he has planted in you and any other person. And this is why we are different as people, and this is why we have different journeys, different career paths, and this is why you can't even compare yourself to someone else, you can't even copy someone else, because each of us are irreplaceable, each of us is special, each of us are unique in our own way whether you believe it or not today is the day you're gonna start believing it that you are irreplaceable in the eyes of God I don't care what the world tells you oh yeah you can replace people also guys talking about this it's like how the world um, is really big on this thing of if you don't do this just easily replacing people cut off culture listen God gives us grace so why can't we offer the people that amount of grace yes it's very important to also be assertive and have boundaries but sometimes be very very aware of what the world teaches us and what the world feeds us because most of the things that the world feeds us are really contrary to what we must believe as children of God so whenever you hear something from the world or from social media make sure that you verify it with the word of God make sure that you verify it with the Bible does this verify or does this link with what God says about me does it link with what God wants for me does it link with my belief structures if it does not then don't take it okay because sometimes these things are glamorized but they are against what God says about you. You are so precious to God. He values you. He sees you as the most precious thing on earth. You are so precious to God. You are set apart. I talked about this earlier on. You are set apart. You are talented. You have a great purpose upon you. You are the head and you are never the tail. You are worth more than rubies. A man, listen now, this is for all, this is for all my women. A man that finds you, finds a good thing. You are an anointed vessel of God. So the identity, it's very important to find what your identity is in Christ. And sometimes just read the word to hear God, what do you say about me? How do you see me? But these are some truths that I wanted to share with you to remind you of who you truly are and remind you of your identity in Christ. These are daily reminders that I give myself and these are reminders I want to give you as well. Once again, I'm quickly going to read through it, but this time around with no explanation. You can replay this part whenever you need to. This is your identity in Christ. 
you are blessed, you are appreciated, you are heard, you are seen, you are gifted and forgiven. You are loved beyond compare. You are loved beyond measure. You are victorious, you are a child of God and you are made new in Christ. You are the image of God. You are anointed, you are chosen, you are God's special possession. You are holy through Christ Jesus. You walk in a wonderful light and you were brought at a very, very high price. Listen, you are handpicked by God who created the universe. You are treasured, you are irreplaceable. You are worth dying for. You are secured for all eternity. You are set free. You are so precious to God. You are set apart and talented. You have a great purpose upon you. You are the head and you are never the tail. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are worth more than rubies and a man that finds you, finds a good thing. You are an anointed vessel of God. I want you to start living like that. I hope that this reminder helped you and whenever you are doubting yourself, definitely do refer back to this video to remind yourself of who you truly are and how God sees you. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you on my very next video. Until next time, bye guys.